going to make a tornado in a bottle. Fun experiment. What you're going to need for this experiment is a bottle, some water, some glitter, some dish detergent, or uh, soap. What you're going to do is you're going to take your bottle. One second. Ah, funnel. I need a funnel. I don't know, I'm not going to use it. You're going to put this in this. It makes a cool noise. The water into the big bottle. Now you're going to want to fill it up to about three fourths ish, three fourths full of water. Then you're going to Put a couple dots of soap in. Don't know why, but that. Then you're gonna put a little bit of glitter in so you can see the tornado. Yeah, how do you get the glitter in this? Come on. There you go. glitter in there. Then you're going to close it up, make it really tight, grab it by the neck, spin around, 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 and see how you kind of get the sparkle thingy in there? Right here. You know when you spin it like this, then you get the Kind of, you can kind of see it, the tornado in there. I'm gonna spin harder. Make sure you don't break it or throw it out of your hand. There we go. Um. <laughs> okay. There. See that? Kind of. Maybe not. Little. Alright. Anyway. Spinning the bottle in a circular motion creates a water vortex that looks like a tornado. The water rapidly spins around the center of the vortex. Um, you know, it's a vortex. Vortexes found in nature including tornadoes, hurricanes, and water spouts. A tornado that forms over water. Well, I'll see you later. And this has been Science with me, Zach. See you guys later.